Somebody, somebody, oh, do you have it? Is it in the bowl right by your dong? I need it to be released. I wish to leave right now. Get me out of here, <laughs> seriously. Hello friends, welcome back to another indie game. It's epic, it's amazing, it's seven doors. Actually, I don't know if either of those statements are true. I just think the music is pretty epic. So hopefully the game is as well. This is a puzzle game in which you advance through the doors and each door has a new puzzle for you. It's a short game, two to three hours long. So I don't know if I will be playing the entire thing here for you guys, but we're at least gonna check it out. So let's do so. New game. Here we are. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Seven Doors. Thank you. Behind this door, seven challenges are waiting for you that we have prepared specifically to test your skills. We're waiting for you behind the last door. If you arrive. If I arrive, now, yes. Now, if you are ready, you may begin. The door is open. Good luck. Thank you. I will need it. Okay. First door, the empty library. So I won't lie to you guys, I already solved the first puzzle, which is fairly simple, but I think it gives a good hint or idea as to what the rest of the game is going to be like. So obviously this is an empty library, but there are things to pick up like a gun. Keep looking around. There are no books. How strange. How very, very strange. A library with no books. Very weird and mysterious. The first thing I noticed was... Oh. More bullets. The first thing I noticed was this. When I did this the first time, which was actually like 10 minutes ago. I thought that looked kind of weird. That's like the only unique thing in here. Except there's also this book. An old book, the only book in the library. It's very old and has an unsettling title. Kill the dead man. Must this mean something? Well, probably. If you look around, there is nothing that could be a dead man that is easily spotable upon first glance. Unless, of course, unless, of course, you look up. <laughs> Lo and behold, there is a dead man. Well, it's not really a dead man, but you shoot the skull in the lantern or in the in the chandelier. Why did I call it a lantern? I don't know. Definitely a chandelier. And then you get greeted with this lovely skull man face. Hello, skull man. All right. That is the first room, the first puzzle. Next, I don't know what to expect. I did it! What's next? Hello? Robot British narrator man? What's next? Okay. Whoa. The Enigma of Chaos. Alright. Okay, first off, I'm very intimidated by the amount of clutter and not because it's cl not because it's like actually clutter and it's a mess, but because the previous puzzle had literally nothing to interact with, and this seems to have loads of things to interact with. So, Ooh, a nice a truly hat. So that's a little scary, but you know we'll make do. Everything interactable? Yes, it seems so. Oh, I wonder if I'll have to use this. Does this actually work? <gasps> Whoa! It Kinda does. Kinda does. Uh, okay, not really. Okay, never mind, it doesn't. <laughs> I grow slowly. I need air to live, but I have no lungs. Even though I don't have a mouth, water keeps me alive. Uh, well, my first thought is a plant of some kind. When you buy it, it's black. When you use it, it's red. When you throw it away, it's gray. 
Okay, not 100% sure about that one yet. The one who makes me doesn't want me. The one who buys me doesn't use me. And the one who uses me doesn't know it. Okay. A room of riddles. I do like a good riddle. I'm not good at them by any means, but I do like them. When I'm young, I'm tall. When I get old, I'm short. When I'm alive, I glow. My enemy is the wind. When I... When I'm alive, I glow. My enemy is the wind. Okay, well, the first... Is that a... Oh, I thought that was a turkey stuffed with Skittles. I literally thought it was... Stu okay, um... So, is there a plant? Because I feel like the plant is probably the answer to the first one. Is there any kind of plant at all? Uh, I can't interact with that. Hey! Toilet paper! That's gotta be the answer. Okay. Um, well, I'm just gonna kind of go around and just look at the items that are actually here. An orange. Could that be... I grow slowly, need air to live. I have no lungs. Even though I don't have a mouth, water keeps me alive. I mean, I guess an orange falls into that category. I'm all, oh God. <laughs> I'm also gonna try really hard not to overthink these puzzles. I'm really, really bad at overthinking puzzles. Really bad. <sighs> really, really bad. Um, but you know, what is this? Uh, can I, I can't. Can I rotate? Can I see what it is? Does it even matter what it is? I don't know. Oh. Washing powder. Okay. Then we got coals. We have a knife. A UI. There's some toast. Is toast going to be the answer? Why is a piece of toast over there? Oh! Hello, plants! You are what I was looking for this whole time. You are a beautiful plant, and you, you belong in here. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Yes! Oh, it snaps in when you get it right. Okay, so I, did I open one side of this? What is this? Is that beer? I don't know. Okay. First one, solved. What do we got here? When you buy it, it's black, and when you use it, it's red. When you throw it away, it's gray. A cigarette? What? Wait, no. When you bite, it's black. That part doesn't make sense. When you use it, it's red. Ash, um... When you buy it, it's black. When you use it, it's red. When you throw it away, it's gray? Maybe, kinda, I mean, charcoal. No, but there is actually a thing of coal over here, which definitely fits the description. Ha ha! I was on the right track. Oh yeah. All right, next one. The one who makes me doesn't want me, the one who buys me doesn't use me, and the one who uses me doesn't know it. The one who uses me doesn't know it. I actually really like this, by the way. Um, what a, it's a really fun way to do riddles. Ah! The one who uses me doesn't know it. That's the weirdest one, right? What's this? Top to a treasure chest? And what are these? Biscuits? I mean, I know when I use a biscuit. That's for damn sure. Definitely know when I'm using a toilet. That's definitely not that. Newspaper. No. Clock. Chess. No. What is that? Tea? No. No, no, what is that? Just a jar? No, 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 no. What's this? Toothpaste? No. 
Detergent. No. Maybe? You're dead, so you don't really know it. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, okay. When I'm young, I'm tall. When I get old, I'm short. And when I'm alive, I glow. <coughs> My enemy is the wind. Okay, I think that is a flame. Right? So, like, maybe a candle or something there. Oh, God. <laughs> maybe it's a crazy possessed trilby hat. Can I get that? There's also, There was a candle somewhere, which might be more appropriate. Ah! Can I jump? Oh, I can. Okay. Can I have that? Let's see if it's this. It might be the candle, though. Yeah, okay. It's the candle, which is... Was it? Where? Wheezy, wheezy, was it? There it is. Ah! Oh, that was so much fun! I love this! What a cool game! I love how it's just, it's just simply puzzles. Room after room, they're interesting. Not too difficult so far. I did get a very small hint of a chess puzzle, which I'm gonna be absolutely terrible at, I'm sure. Hello! Oh no. Wait, nobody said anything about a horror game. Hold on a second. A lighter. Uh huh. Um. Okay. Oh! Wait. Wait. Nobody said that this was gonna be spoopy. I wasn't ready. Oh God! Why? Uh, okay, it's just a bunch of golems. It's fine. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's fine. Golem, he, he's a nice guy. <laughs> <gasps> okay, take it back. He's not, he's very mean. He's a very not nice guy. He's very, very, very rude. Okay, so what is it? What? I don't understand. I mean, obviously, I don't understand. It's a freaking puzzle. The Museum of the Soulless Man. Okay, so why did I die when I went this way? Is it... Do I avoid his gaze? Is that what I need to do? Okay, well, it looks like this is probably... No, that guy's gonna get me if I go there. Um, those guys are not looking. Okay. That guy is... Not looking? Ah! Okay, um... That guy's looking there. He's looking to the ground. So I can go through here. And then right around this guy's beautiful badonka donk. So nice. Uh, okay. Uh huh. Yep. Looking good. Um, I guess I probably want to avoid that. So I'll go over here. Uh, yep. Alright, and then we'll just make a wide turn this away. And, uh, where's the skull? That's a good question. I think I actually do need to get. Oh. Uh. Yeah, uh, I, I, I kind of forgot about that little part of the game, how I needed a, a skull to open a door. Hello, I made it. I wish to be released from this hell. Okay, well, how about we just keep going? Um, maybe, oh god. Okay, I don't like that. That doesn't look right. Oh, hi. God, you're so creepy! Where's this, where, who has my skull? I need it. Um, who's, who's got it? Somebody, somebody, oh, do you have it? Is it in the bowl right by your dong? Okay. Can I have this? Thank you. I need it. 
I need it to be released. I wish to leave right now. Get me out of here. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. We did it. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Uh-huh. Hello. Light. Let there be light. Game save. Oh, isn't this nice? Fourth door, the gallery of the framed dreams. Framed dreams, huh? Okay, there's a giant Skyrim shield up there. Is that literally a shield from Skyrim? Um, okay, well, let's start reading stuff. <sighs> okay, number five, women's collectors of emotions, women philosophy gatherers. Women who prefer black over white, women who immerse themselves in the imagination. Black over white like the letters in a book. It has different phrases, they must refer to something. Okay. Number one, the smile hunters. The believers of the illusions, the little warriors, the master of the future. That one doesn't have a clue on it though. Silent walkers, observers in the dark. The motion hunter is the one with eight mustaches. Eight mustaches? I wish I had eight mustaches. That would be awesome. The cloud miners, the wind travelers, the scouts of the horizon, the custodians of the oval treasure. Okay. The puzzles are definitely getting a bit tougher. Let's start with the one that has the hint. Women collectors of emotions, women philosophy gatherers, women who prefer black over white, women who immerse themselves in the imagination. So it gives me a hint towards a book. Right, so, um, and, and specifically women too, which is interesting. What about this? What's this? looks like a note's been here a long time. I've been locked up here for three days. I've counted them over and over again, but there's always something wrong. Number one, are can't read. Number two, are they can't read. There are only those, I'm sure. Number three, airplanes? No, it doesn't work. Number four, can't read. Women, what? It's not that easy. That's it. I've discovered the meaning of each card and now I have to look carefully at all the pictures to find out how many there are. In some pictures, there are more than one. Fin find out how many there are. Can I do anything with the pictures? No. Oh, here's a woman. There's a woman reading. So what do I do when I know how many there are though? Uh, oh wait. Oh. So it's, it turns out to be a code. Oh, okay. So it's just a matter of counting? Fi figuring out what it means and then counting up how many there are of each meaning? Oh, that duh, that's a four. Um, well. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll write it down? On my handy dandy piece of paper. My handy dandy, uh, good old book piece of paper. My, my good old black and white. All right, so we have four numbers. One, two, three, and four. So this one means women reading, I suppose. So let's go with that first. Is she reading? No, I think she's peeling potatoes or something. We got one, two, three. Um, four. Five, six.
seven, eight, nine, nine. Okay, let's go with nine for the fourth number. All right. And what do we think this one means? The smile hunters, the believers of illusions, the little warriors, the masters of the future, kids, children. One, wiener included. Two, three, Really, just three? Okay. Which one was that? One? No, that was... Yeah. Okay, let's go with three, I guess. All right, what's two? Silent walkers, observers in the dark, the motion hunters, the ones with elegant mustaches. I thought that said eight mustaches, it says elegant. And it's cats, it's cats. It makes sense. Okay. I know I saw a few cats. Probably be a little harder to spot. I can't tell what that actually is. One, two, do I, if it's one painting, do I count it as two? Because there's two cats in this painting. I guess I probably got count the cats, right? One, two, no cat, no cat, no cat, no cat, no cat. I think there's only two? I don't know though, man, I don't know. I feel like there could be easily be a cat like just hidden in the background of one of these photos. But I'm gonna hope that the game is not a jerk. I'm gonna go with two. Okay, last one. The cloud miners, the wind travelers, the scouts of the horizon, the custodians of the oval treasure. <clears throat> Birds? I guess? There's nothing else that flies in these photos. And I know there were some birds. No birds in that photo. Oh crap, that's a child. I don't think I noticed that one before. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do four for child, actually. Okay, uh, we'll start at the door here for the birds. Birds in that photo? No birds. One, one boyd. Two, two boyds. Three, that's clearly a boy. Three. That's another child. Did I count that child? I'm not sure if I did. Okay, so four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight. Eight, all right. <sighs> I'm not sure, I think I might have missed some cats, but I didn't see anything. I was sort of looking for them again. I just, I don't know, two cats. 
There's just that one picture with cats? It seems so unlikely. And then seeing as how I miss so many children, I'm sort of worried about it. I think I'm, I mean, I could have counted those children twice, but let's just try this. Let's see. Let's see if I got it on the first try. All right, let's do five. Ow, two, eight, nine. Ow, my brain. Okay, how about four, two, eight, nine. Shit. <laughs> ah, flip. Okay, maybe I'm just supposed to do the number of paintings and not the number of actual things in the painting? Oh, I don't know. Mm. I've discovered the meaning of each card and now I have to look carefully at all the pictures to find out how many there are. In some pictures there are more than one. Okay, so I do count the individual things, which is what I was doing. What could I have screwed up? I guess we'll just try counting again. Let's go, let's do children from the top. Okay, after much searching and frustration with my own brain, I am pretty sure that I have missed a child. Maybe it's this guy. I mean, he kind of looks like a child. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with all, I've, double, I've triple checked all of my other numbers and they have to be correct. I'm really freaking sure. So let's try this. Six, two, eight, nine. Thank God. Thank freaking God. It took so long to do that. Oh my God. All right. Um, I don't know if that guy was actually a kid, but uh, screw you, kid. Screw you. All right. <laughs> oh my God. We made it. Right. Well, back to the darkness I see. I am going to end this episode right here. And if you would like to play this game for yourself and figure out the rest of the puzzles, there is a link down below and where you can grab this game. It's not very expensive. I think it was like $5.99 or $4.99 US. Um, definitely, I would say, even from what I've seen so far, worth the money. It has really, really good intuitive puzzles. I like the design. I like the quality. Really good for an indie game. Really like it. Good job, developers. Um, let me know in the comments below if you want to see another episode of this. I think I'll keep playing regardless, because I'm actually really enjoying this. I think it's incredibly fun. There's nothing like a good brain teaser, you know? It's just... It's just a different kind of fun. Like, there's not a whole lot of elements going on in this game, but the way that, that the one element is put together, it is really cool. I like it. So, yeah. Let me know what you thought of this video, and if you just want to see more, leave a like, subscribe, ring that bell if you want more videos like this from me. Uh, ringing the bell is important if you want to know when I upload new stuff. So thank you guys for doing that. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking the videos. And um, yeah, we'll be back soon with another one. I'm really enjoying looking at these indie games and I cannot wait to do more. I'll see you soon. Stay cheesy, everybody. Bye-bye.